everyone. Linda Heldman here for Canadian Beats. I have with me Megan Patrick. Hello. Welcome, Megan. Thank you. Awesome. We are here at CMT Music Fest yes. 2016 Bigaman Park mm -hmm. in Kitchener. Mm -hmm. And you are about to go on stage. Yes. Yeah, getting ready. Awesome. 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 So you're the first act to come up today? Uh, second. Think, second act. Second yeah. act. Second act. Yeah. Yes. 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 How's it feel? This is a big stage. Have you Amazing. seen the size of that stage? I have seen it. It's it's a little overwhelming, but I'm just excited. I just I can't wait to get up there. So it's gonna be cool. Great. Cool. And this has been a really cool year for you. We we crossed paths a lot, but this is our actual first interview. Yes. Which is nice. Yeah. yeah. For sure. All right. Yeah. Um, very. If if you haven't got Megan Patrick's Grace and Grid, please go get a copy. It's an amazing, amazing CD. You'd say so yourself, Go right? Go buy it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I think it's all right. Yeah, you know. yeah. And I mean, I now refer to you as the Bow Chicka Wow Wow girl. I get that a lot. Okay. I'm okay with it. You're, you're not just wow, you're Bow Chicka Wow Wow. I, I like it. I'm, I'm totally cool with that. Oh, it's a breeze. It's a breeze, yes. It's nice. Ah. Enjoy that. Uh, so, Bow Chicka Wow Wow did amazingly well. And now you've released Grace and Grit. Yes. Which is also doing really well climbing up the yeah, charts right it's, now. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a slower start, you know, but um, I'm excited. I'm getting lots of positive feedback with, from everyone about the song. So, yeah, I'm excited to see where it goes. Cool. Well, I, I personally love it. It's yeah. great. Thank you. Um, I have to ask, Yes. how did the co-write with Chad Kroger happen to write Bow Chicka Wow Wow? Um, he's actually a, a really close friend of my, my manager. Really? And, um, yeah, and she'd been kind of... You know, she would show him stuff that I was working on here and there, and um, he really liked my voice, I guess. And and uh, Tracy asked if he'd be interested in writing with me. He agreed to it, so we got together. And I, you know, I was kind of thought it was a bit of a kind of a odd matchup because I, you know, like, well, the Nickelback guy. Yeah, exactly, you know? exactly. But, um, but Tracy just said, you know, trust me, he's a great writer. And of course, you know, I'd never turn on an opportunity, especially to work with someone as successful oh, as him. Exactly. Um, but yeah, it turns out he's actually a huge country fan. So, you know, we were we were definitely on the same page, and it was it was a great experience writing with him. He's um, he's a very meticulous writer. You know, it's it's obvious to me after working with him why he's been so successful because you know he makes sure that every note and every word is is great. You know. So yeah, it was it was a, I learned a lot from working with him. So therein lies the success yes. to that song. Absolutely. So would you hope to write with him again? For oh, for sure. Song? Yeah. I mean, I'm always wanting to, to write with as many people as I can, and you know, get new experiences. But yeah, I mean, I think when when you when you have uh, great writing chemistry with someone, you always want to revisit that for sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. So what else is planned for the summer? Uh, lots more festivals. Um, tomorrow we're heading out to PEI. We're going to be at Cavendish oh. this weekend, which I'm very excited about. Gonna get some lobster, and uh, you know, I, I love the East Coast. They're great people out there. I feel like they just love live music. They and, do, and it's such do. a great time. You know, a great crowd. Um, uh, later next week, I'll be at the Ottawa Blues Fest, and uh, and then I'll be at the Stampede opening up for Lady Antebellum. Oh so my goodness! That's gonna be a big oh. one uh, at the Saddle Dome. So that's really exciting. Great, great. I love watching your star rise. You're just soaring. Thank you. People that you're opening for. I mean, it's not gonna be long before you're. Headlining your own tours, I'm sure. It'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I, I look forward to that. But you know what, though, I'm try, I, I try not to get um, too far ahead of myself or remind myself to enjoy all these moments. Exactly. Because you never get to live them again. So yeah. every little moment yeah. is, is, you know, you gotta take it all in. Good. Good. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you on stage. Absolutely. Shortly. I'm looking forward to being uh, up there. We have this segment called On the Spot. We're not okay. going to do a whole On the Spot with you. Okay. I have the baggie. I asked Megan to pick six questions for me before okay. we started, just so that we weren't taking time to. All so, right. Okay. So these are all sorts of interesting little questions in okay. no particular order. Here we go. Okay. Uh, favorite song? Favorite song, like of all time? Yeah. Do you have one? Oh, gosh, one that's I hate kind that of your question. anthem? It's so, that's such a hard <laughs> question. Um, you know what? Right now, Mr. Misunderstood, Eric Church is probably oh, I love that one, one of my all-time favorites. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know if I can say of all time, but it's an absolute favorite for me okay. right now. We'll yeah. say a current favorite. Yeah. Not a problem. Yeah. Not a problem. Okay. Uh, who is your hero? Is that a parent, a celebrity, an influential person in your life? Um, I think it would be kind of equal parts of my parents. I mean, they're both very inspiring to me. Um, my mom, you know, is 
she's inspiring just in the, in the kind of person that she is. Um, you know, what she's done for me, I, there's, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for her love and her support and her love. I mean, she's got the biggest heart. She's always looking out for everyone aside from herself, which I yell at her for. <laughs> but, I mean, there's, there's no one like her. She's a one of a kind and she's strong and she's compassionate and you know, I could go on all day. Um, and my dad, too. You know, my dad has supported me from day one, not every father would be supportive of their daughter being like, I'm gonna be a musician. <laughs> you're what? You know, no, you're not. Go to your yeah. room. <laughs> and, and my dad's been, you know, very successful um, in his own life. You know, he's, he's a very successful athlete, and he's just the kind of person that he puts his mind to something, and and he does it. You know, he's a very determined, hardworking person. So I've been inspired by him a lot in that sense mm -hmm. too. So. And your mom's also your merch girl. I've seen she her is. Your yeah. Merch. Well, I mean, she's pretty good looking, right? So I she figured is. She's it, gorgeous. It, it was an added bonus to have her selling the merch, right? <laughs> Awesome. Okay. Uh, next one. If you weren't able to do music for a living, what other career would you pursue? Music. Other, <laughs> other than music. <laughs> um, what would I, what would I do? Um, I'd probably do something with, with kids maybe, you know, I, I might want to be like a social worker or, or something like that, um, or with animals. Yep. I might be into that too. But I honestly I can't even really picture myself doing anything with music. It's <laughs> just kind of been the only thing for my life. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. We're gonna have to let the other three go. I okay. just got the wrap up signal okay. over there. All right. Not a problem. Thank you so much, yeah, Megan. You too. Take awesome care. To see you and we'll see you on stage and I'll try and capture sure. some good pictures. Sounds good. Thanks so much. Yeah, Linda take Hellman's care. Canadian Beats and Megan Patrick. Thanks Thank everyone. You.